deliver his second state of the province address in Kimberley today. Opposition parties who supported his vision a first time around say it's now time to deliver. All right, let's uh, connect with our colleague Ulrich. Ulrich, a very good morning to you. Give us a sense of occasion. Uh, is this at the Mita Asebereperre Convention Center? Hi, good morning, Desiree. Yes, we are indeed at the Vita Spiritsbury Convention Center here in Kimberley. Uh, of course, uh, the Northern Cape Premier, Dr. Zamani, is so expected to deliver his second state of the province address. Of course, a lot was said last year when he did his maiden one. Uh, of course, setting all the right notes, uh, saying all the right things that made him a darling, not only of residents of the Northern Cape, but also of other provinces and the country as well. Of course, then he spoke about uh, hitting corruption very hard, um, uh, dealing decisively with corruption. He spoke about uh, youth unemployment, uh, dealing a blow with youth unemployment. Of course, then he said that uh, he, will, he will look into and start a state-owned mining company as well as a state-owned construction company so that uh, tenders are, are not just given to, to, the, to, to, to these multi-billion grand companies but also so that uh, the state can uh, perform functions like building roads, like constructing these RDP houses and other constructions uh, so that they can employ more people and um, you know, reduce the unemployment rate in this province that generally stands at around 26%, but at the youth level, the youth unemployment of this province, of course, nearing around 40%. Of course, that uh, struck all the right notes with the residents of the Northern Cape. Uh, but a year on, um, uh, a lot of people are saying that um, they haven't seen as much um, um, uh, ground made up on those promises that uh, Dr. Zamani saw made in his uh, maiden state of the province address. Um, so they would like to see some of those things happening. Of course, he's doing. Uh, the second state of the province address, of course, uh, a very different economic situation. The mining, com the mining industry as well as the, the agriculture industry, of course, the pillars for, for the Northern Cape. A bit depressed at this moment, uh, the, the agricultural sector, of course, um, going through a s uh, seven or eight year drought, one of the worst in, in 100 years. Um, this earlier this year, uh, in January, uh, of course, uh, this, the province being declared a drought disaster area and around 300 million rand uh, being made available to mitigate the effects of the drought. Of course, the, 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 the mining industry also uh, going through various uh, 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 pressures. But uh, let's see if we can speak to, to, to some of the people here that have started arriving um, to uh, this um, uh, state of the province address. Uh, some people are just uh, coming in a bit late. But um, yeah, uh, so um, last year when uh, Dr. Sol uh, made his state of the province address, of course he um, was really the darling of of, of the province and, and political parties. There wasn't even one political party uh, that did not agree with, with most of what he said uh, in the state of the province address. This year a bit, bit, uh, a bit different, so we'll have to see what, what they, they say. But let's see what some of the people have to say. Ma'am, um, tell us, you've come to the state of the province address for Dr. Zamanisol. Uh, what would you like him to, 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 to say? <laughs> Ma'am, you, uh, what, uh, what would you like the, the Premier to say? Oh, the Premier must just give the people work. The, there's a lot of people who doesn't work in the, in the location. Uh, and um, um, in, in terms of, of, of businesses, etc., what, what would you like to see there? Business, the, the food mustn't go so high every time. Uh, the food mustn't go uh, high. The things must go low. Uh, celebration, something, uh, civil, civilization mustn't go high, must go down. Uh, Thank you very much, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, your take on, on, <laughs> on the state of the province today? No. Okay, <laughs> uh, people waiting eagerly for the state of the province address. Not a lot of them actually want to, to talk about the expectations. But uh, like we said earlier, uh, a high unemployment rate. Um, we spoke earlier to some of the young people, a, a number of 
of the Zamba Zamas who are who were given land and mining permits um, about two years ago, also present here at the Vitas Peres Pere Convention Center here in Kimberley to listen to the address. And they basically said that um, it is time to 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 to, to, to basically uh, look at at that industry and to 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 make sure that uh, they of course are, are are being helped. Of course, the the, the issue here in the province is also about beneficiation. One of the mining companies and good news for uh, the Premier is that he's been in talks with the Veneta Mine in the Namakwalan, uh, which is actually currently in the process of, of, of building a smelter at that mine to start beneficiation. So that's another uh, billion, uh, several hundred million rands investment that is coming to this province within the next couple of years. Ma'am, your take on the state of the province address, how would you, would you, what would, do you want the Premier to say? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? What do you, what would you like the Premier to say in the state of the province address? Uh, the Premier. Uh, we just don't want empty promises today. We don't want empty promises. That's all that I'm asking. So what would you like him to say? What would you like him to talk about? The things that are that he promised on the. The things that he promised for today. So, so the stuff he must that keep promised his promises. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, another one of the, the guests that has come here uh, to listen to the Premier speaking, of course, saying that they want the promises that he made last year to come to a realization. And that is basically the theme that we see uh, from various political parties and from uh, uh, residents here of Kimberley at the Northern Cape. That Although he did speak about uh, nicely, it's time for those promises to be in action. Desiree? Ulrich Hendricks, thanks for setting the scene there for us.